Hello little friends. How are you? I know all of you are bored as you can't go out and play with your friends. It's important to stay inside as a deadly virus is hanging around. But in the meantime, we can all have some fun. We can practice together some activities that keep your spirits up. As you all know, CBSC has mandated that you should all enroll in physical and health education program for classes 1 to 12 with the aim of holistic development leading to well-being, well-balanced individuals in all walks of life. These workout activities help you fit and fight, leaving you much stronger to punch this virus in its face. So friends, join this fun workout for classes pre-prep to third. Myself, Dr. R. Steinmoon Pillai, Physical Education Teacher, Atomic Energy Center School No. 2, Anshakti Nagar, Mumbai. And my partner, Niranjan Stein, are ready with stay at home workout. Are you ready? Before we start our workout session, certain do's and don'ts. One, be ready with a bottle of water and towel. Second, the most appropriate dress for this workout session will be sports dress, sports uniform. Let it be t-shirt, jersey, shorts, track suit and sports shoes. School PT shoes is also too good enough. Third, do not get excited or casual while doing any sort of exercise. Fourth, please watch the video completely and then only try to perform. Please choose to perform only those type of exercise, its repetitions and sets according to your comfort and ability. Pictorial diagram of each of the exercise and its benefits are given in the PowerPoint presentation that I will be forwarding along with this video because lack of time is there. So I will not be able to explain the benefits one by one. So we will start. A total workout session is divided into proper warm up and some mobility exercises, main workout and limber down and stretching exercises. A light stretching is required to prepare our muscles and joints of the body for the warm up. So we'll start with light stretching. The first one is full body stretch. In this, we have to interlock our fingers like this and slowly closer to your body, we have to take this palm upward and stretch up and slowly we have to come on toes. And we have to count up to 10. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, relax. This is forward bend. In this, slowly we have to bend forward with a slight bend at the knee and completely stretching the back side of the body and completely relaxed. Again, it can be counted up to 10. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Slowly come up. Next is backward bend. In this, again, we can keep our hands over here at the hip. And slowly we have to bend backward. And the upper body should be in a almost straight line. No double action should be there like this but in a single movement. This releases the tension in the neck, shoulders and it improves breathing. Ready? Ready. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, relax. Next is cyber bend. It gives flexibility to the spine. In this moment, either we can keep hand here 
or we can keep our hand here and slowly we have to bend towards the left side first five counts then to the right side ready hey stop 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 slowly to the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 slowly come up Next is warm up exercises. It prepares our cardiovascular and muscular system ready for the main workout. Next is spot march. In this shoulder width apart or hip width apart, we can keep our legs and you can either keep hand over here or in the sending action. First, you have to start with our left leg. On the spot, just you have to march. If you are not comfortable with this, if you want some assistance, you can keep the hand over here and you can do this also. But do not try to lower your palm over here or raise it up. Let it be hip width. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next is jumping jacks. In this, we should do with a movement. So, first you can stand here. Now, the next step is with the jump, the leg should be apart like this. And simultaneously, your hand should go up and join above your head in a namaskar position. Then come back. It should be quickly. Ready? Ready. Okay. Start. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next is high kick. It is same as that of spot march. Here the difference is that with the movement we have to do. Either again as I told you, you can keep a hand here or you can keep a hand here or you can keep your hand over here. In this the movement will be this way. Or you can keep your hand like this. This way also will do. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next is back kick. In this posture, the heel should touch the back or buttocks. You can keep the palm like this. And I'll just show it slowly. This moment. And if you are able to touch it, with the moment it should go like this. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next is joint mobility exercises. This exercises takes the muscles, tendons and joints throughout the entire range of motion and in turn which reduces the risk of injury. Next is neck front to side rotation. In this slowly you have to bring the chin and it should touch the chest. You can keep the hand over here like this and slowly you have to, to, you have to look to the left side from here again closer to the body but look to the right. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next is the rotation of elbow or half arm circle. In this at the thumb or all the fingers, we can keep it over the shoulder and we have to do clockwise or anti-clockwise means forward as well as backward. Ready? Ready. Start. One, two, three, four, five. Change. Backward. One, two, three, four, five. Change.
Next is arm rotation full circle. In this, you have to extend your hand and it should be brought forward like this. Care should be taken that the upper arm, the inside of the upper arm should be almost closer to your ears. You should not cross like this. It could, it should go straight. This is forward movement. And same way, you have to come backward movement. Again, closer. The ear, the upper, inside of upper arm should touch the ears. Ready? So forward movement. Start. One, two, three, four, five. Change backward. One, two, three, four, five. Start. Next is hip rotation. One of a very dynamic stretching exercises which loosens our low back and hip muscles. The method to do is you have to keep the hands over here. First one is forward, then to the right side, then bring it back, left, forward. So it should go in a very continuous way. Only the hip should move. Normally, many students used to make the mistake that the full body there is to turn. No, it is only the rotation of the hip. Ready? Ready. With your hands here at the hip, start. One, two, three, four, five. Change the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Next is wrist rotation. It is very much required. It relaxes the fingers. It keep close fist like this, and slowly we should move it. So it, it is in opposite direction. First to one side, then to the other side. Ready? Okay. Start. One, two, three, four, five. Change the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Next is angle rotation. In this, again, you have to keep your hand over here. Be comfortable. You have to lift your knee up. You can do this movement. One side, then the other side. Not able to balance. You can keep it forward the toe and you can do this movement. This even at the back also, you can do this and do this. But a balance would have been there if you keep it over here. The, the coordination and rhythm will be developed. Ready? Ready. Start. I'll do this way. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two, three, four, five. The other leg. One, two, three, four, five. The other leg. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Next is alternate or crossover toe touch. In this, the leg should be more than shoulder width apart. The knee should be straight. And if I'm doing the right palm, the right finger should be touching the left toe. And my left hand should be up. I have to look to my palm, left arm palm. Then I have to, without getting up, I have to go and my left hand should touch the right toe and I should look up. This should be doing in a continuous motion. Five one side, five other side. Ready? Legs hey. wide apart, little more apart, little more apart. Yeah. Little forward. Yeah. Let us start. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's have a water break. Now we'll be going for the main workout, which are compound movements, which are targeting multiple muscles at simultaneously in each exercise. Next is cardio fitness workout. It is known as step workout. In this, you can make four circles, two circles where I'm standing and two circles ahead of you there. Like this, one, two, three, four. I'll just show the action. Then I'll say start. First, you keep left leg forward, then right leg, then third, you take the left leg backward, and fourth, when you take the right leg backward, go with a jump here, like this. So it will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I hope you understood. Ready? Ready. Start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Next is free hand exercises. That we'll be doing two exercises. One will be the forward bend. First, I'll just show once. Standing like this, shoulder width apart. One, two, three, four. Like that again till eight and reverse eight to one counting will be there. The next exercise will be one, two, three, four. Like that again, eight plus eight count will be there. So first we'll be going for forward bend. Ready? Okay. Start. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, seven, eight. My partner is counting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Next we'll be going for backward bend exercise. Ready? Ready. Start. One. One, two, two three, four, five. five. Six, seven, eight. Very good. Eight, seven, six, five. Very good, partner. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Next is scissor step. In this, to keep your left leg forward, right leg backward, and so like a running action. This hand should come here, left leg and right hand. So you'll be going this. You should not jump at a greater height. It should be almost closer to the ground. Ready? Ready. Left leg forward. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next is single leg hopping. It improves our explosive strength. You know, Langidi, in this one leg, we used to play when we were small. Like that, here we have to go forward. Can you come this side, please? Yeah. Now we have to go forward with my left leg, for example. One, two, three, four, five. And again back with the same leg. One, two, three, four, five. Then the right leg. One, two, three, four, five. Backward. One, two, three, four, five. The height should be very less. You should not jump into a jump to a greater height. Ready? I'll be hoping that side, and my partner will be hoping this side. We we'll start by with the left leg. Ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five. Backward. One, two, three, four, five. Change the other leg. Start. One, two, three, four, five. Backward. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Come. Next is fast feet or foot fire. From the word itself, it's clear that if there's a fire, how will we move? Same way. Stand straight like this and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Like that, we have to move. And after that, again, without stopping, we have to change direction. Then, here 10 counts, then here 10 counts, then here 10 counts, and relax. So it's like a clockwise direction, we are just moving. Ready? Ready. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax. Next mm -hmm. is Scott Punch. This exercise, a good exercise, it stimulates our muscle fibers. In this posture, we have to sit in squat position. Squat position is like that we used to sit in a chair. But here, slightly, we have to shift our back a little backward. Slightly off balance like this. So, slightly more than shoulder width apart. And we'll be sitting like this, both the arms forward. From here, we'll be going for punching towards left side. Like this. You have to come on toes without getting up. In half squat position, so then come back this way, this way, this way, this way. Ready? Come a little bit this side. Yeah. Yeah. 
Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next is inchworm with jump. It is one of the great dynamic exercise used to strengthen our entire muscular system. Move it forward. Yeah. In this, like a worm, first you have to touch the palm to the ground, then go forward and come to this posture, then come back to standing posture from here, go for a jump. Like that we have to go. We will be doing only 8 repetitions. Ready? Ready. You will be turning this side and you will be doing. And I will be turning that side. Ready partner? Ready. Start. Yeah, come back. Jump. One. Go back. Two. Three. One more. We'll go six. 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 Yeah, that's it. Come. The next is jump squat. We'll be doing like a play method. Here again, in squat position, you'll be sitting. And from this posture, you have to go up. And while you come down, you have to roar like a dinosaur and land in half squat position. Watch carefully. Ah! Ah! Okay? Yeah, ready. We'll go for five repetitions. Ready? Go! Ah! One! Ah! Two! Ah! Three! Ah! Four and one more! Ah! Five! <laughs> Next, the final stage is limbering down and stretching exercises. This brings our heart rate, breathing our body temperature back to normal. It relieves our muscle soreness, muscle stiffness and relieves pain. This is next stretching exercise. Again, you can keep your hand over here. Bend down, touch here. Go back like that. Four forward, four backward. Same way. For this side, for other side. Ready? Ready. You go forward first. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. Now towards the left side. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Relax. Next is arm cross shoulder stretching. In this, for example, I have to raise my left arm upward. I have to bring it towards my right side. And I have to keep the palm over my left here. And slowly pull towards my right side. I should feel the stretch here. Ready? Ready. Start. I'll count eight. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. The other side. Start. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Next is overhead tricep stretch. It improves our flexibility of completely triceps. In this, first you again you have to take up your left hand up. I'll just show once like this. Left hand up. From here, he should slowly bend like this so that the elbow should be pointing up. And with this hand, catch hold the elbow and pull it towards the right side. Okay. Then same. We'll be doing eight counts this side, eight counts other side. Okay. Turn that side. Ready? Start. Left hand up. Left hand up. The other hand. The other hand. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. The other hand. Right hand down. 
right hand down yeah now pull it start one two three four five six seven eight legs next is forearm stretch in this left hand we have to place it forward with the right palm you have to pull it backward same way keep it down and pull it towards your body same way towards the right also go ready start i'll count 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 change start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 change the other hand start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 change down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 next is chest cross arm swing here the stand relax we have to swing your arm forward the left over the right like this then when it comes back right over the left in addition to that you can just uh, just kick your leg if you want like this it is also okay but standing if you are comfortable with that standing swings will do ready okay. start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 stop next is hamstring and calf stretches so we'll be using a yoga mat in that slowly we have to sit down keep our legs straight Together, the legs together, and the toes to be pointing up, almost closer to. It should be pulled towards your body, and with this hand, with this palm, pull towards your body. Slightly, the body should be straight. No, no, straight. And I'll count eight: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The the back should not be rounded; it should be straight, and there should be a pull. at your calf muscles as well as your hamstring muscles the next is my partner is very good next is the calf muscle stretch as well as hamstring muscle stretch in that first we'll show with this this leg and this one leg is straight you have to bend this leg and the feet should be closer to the inner thigh and this toe should be pointing up we have to catch hold and straight yeah we we'll count 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 chain the other leg very good we are good start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 good next is quadricep stretch in that first you have to bend your left leg and keep to the side of your buttocks then the right leg keep it at the back both the toe should not overlap each other it should touch each other and this should be the position so it's straight first and now if possible if you are able to move backward with the support of your palm as well as elbow how much possible you can go yeah if you are able to do this much stretch it is enough or if you are able to lie down fully it is enough so we come up yeah now straighten your left leg then your right leg next is butterfly stretch in that first you have to bend your left leg like this and then bend your right leg so that both the feet should touch each other you can make a interlock yeah good and now sit straight now from this posture you have to flutter like a butterfly you have to flutter this action it should be quickly start quickly yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 good Now from here you have to go forward and touch very good i'll count 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 good next is swas muscle stretch this muscle is situated located on the lower lumbar region of the spine the best example 
you get movement from this muscle is walking without this muscle support we can't walk yeah very good right first you have to sit in lunge position like this and from here slowly you have to push your upper body forward but keeping in mind the erectness of upper body as well as the knee should not be ahead of the ankle hold it and you have to look straight i'll count eight one two three four five six seven eight change from here change to the other side this leg very good we back yeah little bit forward yeah the hand at your hip start one two three four five six seven eight slowly get up next is lower back stretch it stretches the hip and the lower back in this slowly we have to lie on your back in supine position from here slowly you have to bend the leg at knee both the legs and interlock it and pull towards the chest if possible try to come up try to touch the nose in between the knees if possible i'll count a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 relax now single leg first bend here start touch try to touch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 change the other leg touch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 good to so get up get up and lower next is glute muscle stretch this is the last and final stretch of this workout session in this slowly the person have to lie on your back or slowly bend both the legs after that slowly you have to keep the right leg over the left like this and the both the palm the palm should be under the left knee like this and slowly you have to pull your left leg towards your body if you want you can raise your head up you will feel the stretch in the left gluteal area one of the best stretches there are other stretches but this is one of the best stretch i'll count four now is very tired 1 2 3 4 relax now the other leg again bend both the legs now this should be kept over the right and the hand very good no no just lie down and you can lie down and slowly you can pull towards your body so if you want you can come up start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 relax finally you can slowly get down towards the left and slowly get up slowly get up hope you all enjoyed this workout please bear in mind that these activities can be performed by anybody regardless of age who want to keep himself or herself fit stay home dear students till we tide over this deadly break out of coronavirus ask your parents to download the arogya set sedu mobile app this app can tell you the risk of infection if you accidentally come in contact with an infected person If you have to move out, please cover your faces with mask or handkerchief. Wash your hands with soap and water if possible. Use a sanitizer, and most importantly, practice social distancing. Let's hope we will meet soon. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Thank you.